Hi everyone, we are excited to have you here in today's fun-filled learning session at YOLO. Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class. As a first step, go to live.yolo.com. You can use any browser to access this site. On this page, you will see a list of all our classes. Scroll down and you can see the Submit Your Work button. And then you will see a list of the classes that you have last attended which could, for example, show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently. Next, it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number. Choose your name from this list to submit your work. For instance, if you are Satvik Kumar, choose that name. And then, choose the class for which you would like to make your submission. For example, if you've attended the New Year's Masquerade Party session, and you'd like to make the submission for this class, click on the Submit Your Work button below that. And then upload the photo you've taken. Choose the image from your phone and click Submit. You can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work. You can also see others' work and like their work to inspire your friends. If you want to showcase your work on social media, that too is very simple. Click on share, copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice. Just a tiny reminder, your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode. Do not forget to tag us at YOLO underscore app. I'm eagerly looking forward to all your submissions right after this class. Hello, everybody. I hope everybody is doing good, right? Okay. So what are we going to learn in today's class? In today's class, we are going to learn how to make a watercolor scenery. All right. All right. So everybody went through the submission process, I hope. Even if you haven't, don't worry. We will play it again at the end of the class and you can have a look again. All right. Okay. So before we start off with the class, first let us have a look at what are the materials that we are going to need in today's class. Okay. Just quickly, everybody check whether you've gotten all of the materials. Let me just share my screen with you. Okay, is everybody able to see my screen? All right. So just see what materials we are going to need for today's class. So first, very obviously, we will need our paper. Okay, we will need our eraser and pencil. What else? We will need the brushes. Not so many. Only two or three will be good enough. We will need our colors, our watercolors. And we will need a jar of water. Okay. Everybody just quickly check whether you've gotten all of these materials or not. Okay. Just quickly check everybody. And we'll be ready for the class. All right. Now again, like I tell you, use a board every time you're painting so that you don't dirty the place around. And also use a tape if you have one. You can see how I have fixed the paper to the board with the tape so that it doesn't move. If you have paper clips or if you have any other masking tape also, that will also do. Okay, just remember this way your paper will be stiff. And so that when you paint, your paper won't move around and your painting will be perfect. Okay, everybody ready now? We are going to have a very, very fun time today. Yes. We'll paint a sunrise using our watercolors. Okay, nice morning sunrise we'll paint with beautiful palm trees. Okay, everybody ready? Okay. So see here, what will be the first step? Okay, just everybody get ready with your brush, a very nice thick flat brush. Okay, just dip it in the water. 
and just cover all of the surface with water just the water okay i'm not using any color right now i'm just covering the entire surface with water that's all just simply water just cover all of the surface with water all right just nicely moisten up all of the paper okay everybody just get it done till this step first nicely cover up all of your paper with water okay everybody ready for the next step so now we will be using three colors that is our orange yellow and red if someone doesn't have orange you can mix a little bit of yellow and red and that will give you orange but don't worry if you don't have orange just skip it you can directly use red also all right this is the color palette for our morning scenery yes our early morning scenery okay so see once you have softened up the paper nicely once you have moistened the paper nicely just take the yellow color on your brush nicely take up the yellow color on your brush start painting from the bottom you can use any yellow color okay remember you can use any yellow color yes it can be chrome yellow ochre yellow golden yellow any yellow that you have with you you can use that nicely cover up cover it up everything should be covered nicely okay just get it done till here everybody see i have not covered the entire portion of the paper i have started from the bottom and then i have moved upwards but that's it i have not covered the entire portion of the paper some portion of the paper at the top is left white all right so just cover up all of the portion the lower portion and the middle portion with yellow and leave the top portion black everybody just get it done till here okay very easy very easy yes correct just dip your brush in the yellow color and just paint it like this all right remember to use a small paper otherwise you will use up a lot of time that is why we have mentioned always use a a5 size paper or a small paper even if you are using a large paper remember to moisten it or uh, you know uh, at the starting we added a little bit of water to the paper remember to do it so that your color will spread nicely and you will have to put in minimum efforts to get the color all over your paper okay use a thick brush don't use a thin brush otherwise you will take up a lot of time okay everybody ready now for the next step now see what we what color we are going to use next just see so again we'll take the thick brush and now we'll take red those of you who have orange you can go for orange those of you who have red you can go for red okay completely up to you we'll start with red now from the top and we will work our way downwards just the opposite of what we have done with yellow for yellow we went from bottom to top for red we are coming from top to bottom like this okay see how we started from the top 
just cover this much portion first everybody then we'll get to know what happens after that the part that you left white just cover that first and then after that we'll discuss what will happen after that quickly get it done everybody Okay, now see here, once you're done till here, we'll take some orange color. You can see I'm taking some orange color. Now, important thing is some of you might not be having the orange color. In that case, nothing to worry. You can continue with your red, but remember to use very little amounts of red only. That way you will have an orange color. And if you have the orange color, then you can use orange color now after you've completed the topmost portion. Okay. After you've completed the topmost portion, you can use your orange color. All right. If you don't have the orange color, you can also mix a little bit of red and yellow and you can use that. That will also work. Okay. So see how we'll use the orange color. So like this, we will be blending it at the edge where we had left the red color. We will be applying the orange color and nicely we will bring down that orange color also. Just work your hand horizontally. Remember to move your hand horizontally like this. Remember to move your hand horizontally in one direction. Don't move it like this, then again like this. No, just one stroke like this. Only at the sides, you can move your hand a little bit vertically so that there are no white spaces. So see how I've moved my hand just horizontally all the time. Working your way downwards, started from the top with your red color. Then we move towards orange color and then we brought our brush down. Those of you who don't have the orange color, you can continue with your red color only. But like I said, see, towards the end, we have used very little color. I have not dipped my brush again into the palette. Have you seen that? Did you notice? I did not dip my brush again into the palette. I just took the color once and then I worked with it from the middle to the bottom. So that is what you have to do. All right. Everybody getting it? Shouldn't be very difficult. Again, I will repeat it. Start with red from the top. Okay, the top portion that you had left white, cover it with red first. Okay, once you've done the red, if you have orange color, then fine. Move from the red to orange and then bring it downwards. Remember, you've got to dip your brush only once into the color. Okay, don't keep on taking color. Otherwise, the yellow portion will completely vanish. It will be orange only. If you don't have orange color, what to do? In that case, you can mix a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow. That will give you the orange color. You can use that. Otherwise, if you're not very sure about mixing the colors, you can continue with red only. But remember to take very, very little amounts of the red color. Okay. So I gave you three options. You can use any of the three options. Just completely cover up the paper like this. Okay. Paint on top of the yellow portion that we had. Nicely get it done, everyone. Before we move on to the next part, just everybody take your time, complete up to this portion. Thank you. 
okay everybody getting done with it so for the next step we will be needing a thin brush okay get the thinnest brush possible get the thinnest brush possible if any of you has a black sketch pen or a black pen get that also ready that will also come in handy don't worry if you don't have we will do it with the brush only but in case you're having a black sketch pen or a black pen then get it ready that will be very very easy for you okay yes quickly get it done everyone okay now we will be drawing some palm trees it will be so so easy for you for next times whenever you're drawing a scenery you can use this technique and you can draw palm trees now everybody excited okay so let's continue with the painting now so see here i've got a thin brush and i've taken some brown color if you don't have brown color you can use black okay you can use any dark yellow also you can use green also okay so what are the colors you can use brown black green dark yellow any of these colors that you have just use this and make this land portion at the bottom of your painting like this this will be the land the land or the ground surface on top of which we will have our pine trees okay everybody done till here just complete the land portion everyone see we have just drawn the land with the help of our brush no need to use a pencil for this you can directly draw this with your brush and then we'll cover it up with the brown color if you don't have brown what are the other colors that you can use you can use green you can use your black color and any dark yellow any dark yellow shade that you have all right okay we are going to move into the most exciting part of the painting that is the palm trees okay so just see now those of you who are having the black sketch pen or the black pen you can take it out now and those of you who are having a pencil you can take it out now i will be drawing using my brush but for those who are not very sure about drawing with a brush you can first draw with a pencil and on top of that you can put your brush okay so just see how we are going to draw once you've completed the land we'll start off with the same thin brush we'll be taking black color and we'll start off okay see so here i've got my thin brush and here i've got the black color nicely loading up my brush with it okay nicely load up your brush with the black color and now we'll first make the trunks of the trees okay you can use a pencil if you want to i will be drawing with the brush you can use a pencil first and later on at your free time you can put on top of it the black color so see this is the first branch always remember that for branches the bottom part should be thick and as it moves up towards the sky it will be thin okay like this see how the bottom part is thick and as it moves up towards the sky it's thin those of you who are having black sketch pen you can directly draw this with the black sketch pen no need to use watercolors for this directly draw it using black sketch pen those of you who don't have first draw it with a pencil and then you can put black color on top of it or otherwise if you're very confident then you can directly go for the brush also okay same for this side also we'll draw some more trees like this be very careful when you're drawing with the brush 
and always remember lower portion thick upper portion thin this is the rule this is the golden rule for all the branches same here lower portion is thick upper portion is thin and one small tree in the center so we've got all of our bases ready okay first get it done till here everybody everybody just get it done till here okay we just wait for 30 seconds this is very very easy If you are drawing with a pencil, this shouldn't take you any time at all. If you are drawing with a sketch pen, also it should be very easy. Only those people who are drawing with the brush directly, for them it might take some time. Be very careful. It is better to use the pencil. Okay, it is better to use the pencil than going for the brush directly. All right. Now see for the next step what we are going to do. with that same thin brush with the same thin brush now we are going to make the palm leaves okay see here for a closer look i've just zoomed in onto the picture so that you can see it nicely and clearly okay it's cleared for everyone so first we will make the leaves we'll make the branches you remember it's just like coconut tree but it's a little bit different these are smaller branches smaller okay smaller than the coconut ones coconut has large branches this will have small branches like this so we'll make such five or six branches for all of the trees we did it for the first one same for the second one like this 3 4 5 or six like this for all of the tree tops this part also you can do with your black sketch pen only you can do with your black sketch pen only those of you who are doing with the pencil continue with the pencil those of you who are sure with the brush you can go for the brush but be very very careful be very very careful you worked so hard you don't want to ruin your picture right now okay so if there is any doubt at all you can return back to your pencil Okay, so like this for all of the tree tops, we'll be drawing the branches. All right, finish it till here. Finish it till here, everyone. Just get it done till here. You will see how easy it is to make the palm trees now. First, we drew the straight branches. then we drew these small structures at the top remember they will be smaller than the that of the coconut trees coconut trees have large branches like this these will be smaller ones for all of your six trees get these structures at the top done we'll wait for some 30 seconds now for everyone quickly get it done if you are using the pencil you can layer it up with the brush later on just draw it with the pencil for now okay all right shall we move on so just see how we are going to make the little structures of the leaves to see here so just with the same black color we are going to make structures like this just like little triangles but with leaves like this i am repeating the process so that you can see how i am making it at the end of these branches just like little arrows little triangles like this so there goes your first palm tree same thing any of you who has missed you can see the next one there are five more palm trees to go 
So just observe how you will be making the branches. It is almost shaped like a triangle, but the ends are like this. This also you can make with your pencil or with your black pen also or black sketch pen. Remember those of you who are making it with the pencil at the end, once you have completed the drawing, just put the black color on top. Okay, just don't leave it like that with the pencil. Cover it up with the black color. So we will repeat the same process for all of the tree tops. By now you should have gotten the idea. Don't worry. There are two more trees to go. If you still haven't watched, just have a look. Okay, again, take some more. And for the last tree now, everybody just have a look. Just see how I'm drawing the structures at the ends. Like this. Okay, so we have got all of our trees done. All our trees are done. This is how it should be looking like. Once you've completed all the drawing of the trees, this is how it should be looking like. Everybody just complete it. We'll wait for everybody to catch up. We'll just wait for everyone to catch up, all right? Don't worry. Those of you who are using the pencil, for now you can use the pencil only. And once the class is over, before making your submission, you can just put the brush on top. You can just layer it up with the brush. For now, you can just use the pencil only so that you at least get the drawing. Okay, everybody. Shall we move on? Okay, we'll move on now to the next step. Quickly, everybody get it done. We'll continue using the same thin brush only. We'll continue using the same thin brush only. Okay, so just nicely wash off your brush. Nicely wash off your brush. All right. Okay, so now only the last portion of the drawing is left. Only the last portion is left. If you want, you can just make a little line like this so that your land portion is defined. It has a nice border. Okay, and remember to wash off your brush after you have used the black color. Wash off your brush nicely. See how clean my brush is now after using the black color. So we'll proceed on to the last thing. What is the thing missing in this sunrise picture? Can anybody guess? What is it that is missing? Yes, it's the sun. So we'll now make the sun finally with the white color. So see here, I've taken up the white color. And just to make a circle like this. Just make one circle like this. All right. And then just dip, take more white color and just cover all of it. Okay, nicely cover all of the surface with the white color. Okay, so that's all everyone. See what a beautiful painting we've got for ourselves. It was so, so simple and yet it's so beautiful. You can decorate it a bit, little bit 
with some white dots like this so that it looks more pretty okay it's not necessary but you can do it to make your picture look very pretty all right it looks as if the sun's rays are going through it all right so everybody enjoyed the class i hope now everybody has learned how to make palm trees so there is a difference between palm and coconut trees right so next time in any class you will be able to make the palm trees easily okay so i hope everybody had fun and you all learned something new in this class okay and i hope everybody will join in for the next class as well because remember when you've made submissions for all of the classes in this course you will be eligible for a certificate okay so remember to make your submissions i will be waiting to go through all of your submissions and remember you will be marked top 10 okay so put on all your best efforts and remember to make your submissions in time and if anybody has missed on the submission guidelines don't worry at the end of the class we'll be playing it again so you can have a look there okay okay everybody take care hope to see all of you again in the next class okay bye bye Hi everyone we are excited to have you here in today's fun fill learning session at Yolo Here is a quick look at how you can submit your work after the class As a first step go to live.yolo.com You can use any browser to access this site On this page you will see a list of all our classes Scroll down and you can see the submit your work button and Then you will see a list of the classes that you have last attended which could for example show the dance or craft or science experiment classes you've attended recently next it will show you the list of children whose names are registered in this mobile number choose your name from this list to submit your work for instance if you are satvik kumar choose that name and then choose the class for which you would like to make your submission for example if you've attended the new year's masquerade party session and you'd like to make the submission for this class click on the submit your work button below that and then upload the photo you've taken choose the image from your phone and click submit you can scroll down and view all your past submissions and see how many of your friends or peers have liked your work you can also see others work and like their work to inspire your friends If you want to showcase your work on social media that too is very simple click on share copy the link and post it on Instagram or Facebook or any other platform of your choice just a tiny reminder your submission looks a lot better if you could click a photo in the landscape mode rather than the portrait mode do not forget to tag us at yolo_app I'm eagerly 